Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for Libra. I hope you guys are all doing well. Thanks so much for dropping in. This week's readings are about transformations in your love life. What's transforming and changing? I'm going to focus on the changes. Whether there is any or not, we'll see. Generally, there's always something. See what's going on in your general life. Anything important, I will bring it up. Libra. What does Libra need to know? Clear messages and guidance for Libra. What do they need to know about transformation and changes in their love life? Clear messages and guidance for Libra. What do they need to know? Libra. What does Libra need to know? There we are. Ah, the lovers. Ooh, and we have the Empress. Ooh, some of you may have a new beginning in love coming. The Empress is all about love. You may have a choice. <laughs> you may be holding yourself in high regard, Libra, when it comes to love. You're making the choice to be this in this Empress energy. Oof, boy, these cards really want to come out. You got a lot going on. I can feel it. There we go. Yes, Knight of Wands. Yeah, so I feel like you're holding yourself in high regard. There may be somebody here who's been rushing in and out possibly a choice in love between two people so you're turning your back you're definitely sitting in that empress energy you have all the strength and the power here when you're the empress yeah aries leo sagittarius so i feel like you took a stand here there's something here you're you're standing up for you're standing up for your beliefs you're very focused on yourself your career your abundance you have a lot of abundance around you right now because you're very focused I do feel there's someone here you find very attractive and vice versa, but this is somebody with that Knight of Wands energy, uh, someone who rushes in and out. But a lot of times, you know, the Knight of Wands isn't always bad. This is someone who comes in very quickly, but they come in quickly because they're finding you very sexy and attractive. There is definitely some kind of chemistry here, but like I said, you're turning your back, you're holding yourself in high regard, and you're definitely standing in your power. You're very powerful very much in control right now this is where you put your foot down and possibly speak rather bluntly towards somebody who's been rushing in and out yes somebody wants to come towards you very quickly there's no doubt about it yeah so here we are yeah i feel as though yeah you're not offering this person your cup you're going through this healing you've gone within you're healing yourself of a situation look at that beautiful yeah you're making a choice you're not investing in something and i feel as though you've been waiting very patiently uh, for a situation here in your love life you may have a choice between two people you may be keeping your options open because of this person you definitely don't want someone who's rushing in and out i can see that the queen of cups is somebody who's been hurt you've had a very tough time so you know to hold yourself in high regard to take a stand you're learning something here i can feel this energy you're very much there's been i feel there's been some kind of confusion or somebody was keeping their options open and i can feel like look at this you're just not having it so you're not offering this person your cup in fact you are now keeping your options open because you've gone through a lot of transformations a lot of changes within yourself and you may be changing the way you conduct yourself in your love life where you hold yourself in high regard and you're not investing in anybody here who treats you like an option because when we have the queen of wands this is somebody with an energy that this is nobody's option okay this is somebody who will put their foot down and stand up for themselves and go sorry i'm not offering you my cup because i'm keeping my options open because you just want to rush in and out and that's what i feel is happening there's a lack of investment i feel like you were quite patient with this person and I feel that uh, they just weren't invested in you. So you're not investing in them anymore. Yeah, but there is someone who's chasing after you. Look at that. Somebody is chasing you. They want to clear things up. They want to talk to you. They want to communicate. But there was this indecision. Somebody was indecisive here. And But now they're chasing after you. They want to talk to you. They want to communicate. 
So you may have several people chasing you <laughs> in this energy because you've been keeping your options open, uh, but you're holding yourself in high regard. You're not uh, investing in anyone who doesn't invest in you, anyone who treats you like an option. Okay, you may have had um, somebody here that you had some beautiful chemistry with, someone that you loved, and I can see that energy in the middle, but this person gave you a hard time. They were indecisive. They weren't invested. They didn't treat you properly. Yeah, so five of pentacles. So you may have be ignoring this person and left them out in the cold. Yeah, so there's that queen of pentacles energy. Wow. Got a lot of cards that came out here. And I can see that they definitely are suiting the story. I'm taking all of them. And so what I feel is happening, you're looking at the situation, you're being very practical. There's something lacking, okay? This person is, there's something lacking. You don't feel comfortable with the way they treat you. They're not, they treat you like an option. They rush in and out. So now I feel like things have turned around. You're the one who's now keeping your options open. Yeah, you're looking at this. This was your person. You had a connection. And and I feel like you have this mental and emotional connection with someone and you're not comfortable with someone who's rushing in and out. It's like, no, you don't see a future with them. So you're ignoring someone, maybe even ghosting them. But I feel they're chasing after you. They feel like there's no hope um, to make you feel comfortable with them. They do feel this connection, but there's been this indecision in the past to do with love. And I feel it's just like you got your hands up in the air, like, sorry, nope, it's not going to happen, right? You want love. You want someone who reciprocates and doesn't, you know, there, there, and there's this confusion here too. And I feel like this person, there was just a lot of confusion because of their indecision and, you know, but they were definitely lacking in the way they communicated, the way they treated you. They weren't treating you good enough and you just don't see a future. You want that to a cup. So we have the King of Pentacles, the King and Queen of Pentacles energy. Now, whether or not there's Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn energy here, there may be, there may not be, but this is the energy of somebody here who very grounded very practical look at that you're very much the same you both want the same things but yet there's no communication you're ignoring each other right now you got your backs to each other yet there's this but you're still connected isn't that interesting yeah this person could be a taurus virgo capricorn you may have these elements in your chart libra i feel as though this person is concentrating on their money they're focused on themselves you're both trying not to focus on each other but you're still connected look at that energy in case you can't see this i'm going to hold it up you are both got your backs to each other but you're connected it's the two of cups energy. There's this mental and emotional connection between you, but you're both being practical, grounded, focusing on your money, uh, trying not to focus on each other, uh, but it's still there. You can't deny it. So look at that. We've got the wheel of fortune here. So there's something, a cycle that's ended here. So I feel like what's happening, someone's planning something, and I feel as though... They're planning, they're looking through the details, they're being practical, and they're being realistic. They're being very meticulous here. Somebody wants, there's been this ending, a cycle ending, but there's this new cycle that's beginning. Someone has some fear, yeah, see something happened. Someone was hiding their feelings and emotions, and so things, somebody didn't get what they wanted. So you may wanted this person to come towards you, and but the cycle ended because they didn't get what they wanted. Yeah, where you didn't get what you wanted. But I feel there's very, very deep emotional feelings here. And someone's hiding them because of fear. So someone may be afraid this is over, that this situation is now over. The cycle is ended because we have the tower. But there's this aha moment too. And it's an epiphany. It's a big one. Uh, the only way to get things moving in their favor is to share their feelings and their emotions. But there's a fear revolved around that. But boy, you both have a lot of very, very deep emo This is a very deep emotional connection that I feel that. But there's you're ignoring each other. Uh, you're totally ignoring each other. You're missing each other. I feel like you're both lonely. But And I do feel there's this, this indecision here. Someone that wants to come, they want to clear things up. They want to talk to you. But there's this fear of sharing their feelings. Now they're, or they're afraid, very much afraid that this may be it. This could be completely over. So I don't know if there was juggling. I'm not seeing juggling so much, but I do see this love. I do see 
uh, you turning your back you wanted something to move forward with this person but they were rushing in and out so you had to take a stand with that empress energy and the queen of of wands there's definitely a lot of confusion somebody's about to make a choice whether to invest or not but that indecision is because of fear so we have the lovers why is the lovers here for libra why is the lovers here i see gemini energy as well somebody may have gemini gemini taurus cusp aries taurus cusp as well tell me about the lovers why is the lovers here why is the lovers here why is this here there we go yeah so it's yeah you were waiting for things to move forward towards a commitment you wanted commitment from this person and you're turning your back because you feel they're not holding you in high regard this there's a lack of commitment from this person there this in and out energy Tell me about, I feel like if you've got Aries, Leo, or Sag in your chart, Libra, I feel like you're moving away from this person towards something better. You're taking a stand and keeping your options open now uh, because this is how someone was treating you, <laughs> okay? It's like you're turning things back around. Everything's completely transformed and changed, and I feel as though you're transforming the way you're conducting yourself in your relationship. You want commitment, you want that mental and emotional connection, not just the physical. You want that commitment first. You want to know this person's committed. You want to see there, there's something that wasn't built on a very solid foundation because there was secrets, mystery, confusion, and a lot of fear. Tell me about the Empress energy. Why is the Empress here for Libra? There we go. Uh, so you're holding back and thinking, clearing your head, releasing negative thoughts. And going through a very deep healing. I can see you've gone within to heal yourself. And the Empress and the Queen of Cups, you see, that's the lessons that you learned. So I feel you held back and you allowed yourself to heal. And you're now ready to go off and meet somebody new. Because I feel you're turning your back on this connection because you know, the towers definitely come down. There's no commitment from this person. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Yeah, you're not going for that passionate connection unless there's commitment. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Oh, there we go. Yeah, holding yourself in high regard. You're getting out of dodge. You're very much in control. So you're taking control of this situation. You are very much in control, using all the power you have to control your emotions. And I feel as though you're taking off in another direction very quickly. Uh, I see Taurus and Libra energy. Of course, that's you. You may have Taurus in your chart, some of you. Uh, Virgo or Capricorn. I also see Cancer energy. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Yeah, you're definitely using the power you have to take control and you're using that Empress energy. And plus you got the Queen of Rods and you got the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. Whew. You're very powerful right now. You know exactly what you need to do. So you've taken this stand. Look at that. Yeah, see? You're also going to be, see, you're only offering one cup and nothing more. You're not going to offer love, your emotions, your feelings to anybody. You're keeping your options open until you get what you want. You're taking a stand. You're nobody's option. You want commitment. So until then, you've been focusing on your self-healing. Releasing negative thoughts, negative patterns, negative energy. You're very much in your power. Beautiful energy, Libra. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Yeah, you're ready for a new beginning. Look at that. You're going off to have something new. And I do feel that you've got new love coming because we have the Empress, the Queen of Cups, and the Sun all right here. The Empress twice. So you're very much in control of this energy. You're getting out away from anybody who comes in looking for passion. Anyone who wants to rush in and out. It's like, no, no, no. Sorry, not going to happen. So you're no longer offering up that Queen of Cups energy. You're basically nurturing and looking out for yourself here with that Queen of Pentacles down here. Mm -hmm. No more fear, fear and confusion. Yeah, there's someone here. Yeah, you're definitely keeping your options open. You may be weighing the pros and the cons between two people, but I do see you've got this King of Pentacles energy, someone who's weighing the pros and the cons. They see the possibilities of having a new beginning with you. They, they're trying to find their balance, but I feel like what happened, there was no value balance between you and this person they just were all about that passion so you're not having it uh, you are very much you took control and you took off 
exit stage right uh, so yeah this person they were offering one cup and nothing more and they wouldn't express themselves emotionally and that's what i feel you want reciprocity so you're going for something new something's definitely been exposed yeah see you're only investing in new you're only going to invest in somebody who's going to express themselves i feel like you were very patient waiting for this person to come in but they came towards you um, with a lot of confusion a lack of balance so you're now weighing the pros and the cons. You may have a couple of people that you're thinking about. You're ready for this transformation in a really big way. You're so ready for love. I do feel you're going to get it. You've waited for a long time. And now you may have a couple of options to choose from. You, yeah, so you have a couple of options. Somebody is thinking about investing here. You're only investing in love. You only want that fresh new start. You're ready for something completely new. But you've got this person who's chasing after you. This could be you uh, rushing away. But I feel like you've got somebody who has Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius in their chart as well that air energy they don't have to but i feel they're chasing after you there's someone who does not want you to get away and uh, they're thinking of coming in yeah see you this is something you've been waiting for you were holding on this person was your one you wanted commitment you wanted things to move forward but you had to hold back and heal yourself you had to take some time to think because this person was treating you like an option and I feel as though they possibly were juggling they were in and out and you're not investing in that because there's something that's been exposed that that possibly hurt you the Queen of Cups is someone who's had a tough time and I feel like you've really just had enough and uh, yeah that's what's happened so now you're holding on you're looking for the one you're looking out into the future but I feel as though this person, they do see a future with you. I do feel like they are holding on to you. They don't want you to get away, but you're keeping your options open. Yeah, because they didn't invest in this new beginning. They didn't offer it. So you're unless this offer of love comes in, this fresh new start, there needs to be balance between that passion and that emotional and mental connection here. And there's a lack of so yeah wow this person's thinking of investing and i think you were very patient waiting for this person you waited for a long time for them to come in and it's just i feel as though they came chasing after you to clear things up but there was a lack of clarity it wasn't good enough you may have had to ignore this person yeah you've set yourself free because this person was coming towards you for attention there's that passionate attention they were keeping secret so you had a fear about this so i feel as though you put your foot down and ended this situation the cycle is now over this person was trying to get things going their way this is someone who wants everything their way they have a they have a really big ego but i'm going to tell you this person has a big ego because they feel maybe that they're not good enough they feel like they're lacking but I feel like you know you're looking at this with this Queen of Pentacles energy. You're looking right at it going, no, I do not see a future with someone who comes towards me just for attention. You want somebody who comes towards you and gives you some attention, right? There needs to be balance. It has to go both ways. So I feel as though the cycle is ending. This person, I do think they are planning on coming back around again. But they again, they want things to go their way. They're looking for success with you. So they may be coming back. It's quite possible this person does not want you to get away. They may decide to come in. They're looking at this Ace of Cups energy. You know, should I invest in this? Should I express myself? Should I open up? Because you, they know you will not invest. They know it. And they need to come in and express themselves to have this new beginning. But this fear is what's holding this person back. They know. You know too. You're having a pity. This person maybe has insecurities. They have some... Their ego is something they're wearing on the outside. Inside this person may have some very deep insecurities. Very deep emotional um, issues with sharing their feelings. Some fears with where things are going to go. Uh, because this, you know, this Wheel of Fortune, it can stop, go, it's on and off, on and off. And this has been a relationship with between the two of you. It's been the stop, go, on and off situation. And I feel finally, because of fears, you've decided to get off this emotional roller coaster. So now this person's having an epiphany. And uh, I do feel like they're going to come in very suddenly. They're planning something. They're working through the details. It's a slow process. It's going to take this person a bit of time. But once they have that epiphany, I do feel that they are going to come towards you. So tell me about this tower. What happens with this tower for Libra? Ooh, heavy energy, Libra. 
I feel this person's worried you're keeping your options open and uh, I feel as though they, I do, I feel that they are worried, right? And they're weighing the pros and the cons about this. But this is what your worry is because this person was, it, it was such an on and off relationship. They weren't committing. Uh, even though there was this beautiful passion between the two of you, this lovely chemistry, it just wasn't enough. It's not good enough for you. You want more. And uh, that's that five of pentacles. You wanted more attention. You wanted this person to come towards you. You were hoping for success, but yeah, this person's ego is getting in the way. And this is likely what needs to transform. Okay, but there is something happening. Tell me about the tower. What's happening with the tower for Libra? Why is the tower here? Why is this here? Whew. Yes, oh my goodness. Yeah, see, you both hold each other in very high regard. There's something that needs to be purged and rele released here. This person's having an epiphany. Feel like this person feels like you're out of their league, but yet they feel that you have this lovely connection. You both actually you know have the very similar feelings you both have some some fears you both have very deep feelings there is a need to purge and release something here this is your hopes and dreams this person was your hopes and dreams they're hoping and dreaming to come back towards you you both feel exactly the same but there needs to be it needs to be expressed neither one of you have ever expressed your feelings and emotions there's been a lack of emotional investment to have this new beginning this person is very well aware they need to invest emotionally they cannot come there there will be no success there's no hope for success if this person keeps coming towards you wanting you to shower uh, the attention upon them because this is what you probably did is you very much invested in this person you may have expressed yourself you may have loved this person you maybe even told them you love them you were nurturing and loving and kind they know you're like this they see this but it needs to be reciprocated and that's what you were waiting for but they came towards you and they brought confusion because they were indecisive about how to invest how to express themselves you know they have deep feelings very deep feelings but you have a fear uh, that this person like you 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 both adore each other i can see it and there's this beautiful connection and yet you're ignoring each other you're ghosting each other i don't see this moving forward unless you both hold each other in high regard and express yourselves there's a need to be purge purge and release these fears see look at this yeah so i feel as though you're just staying single you're looking out for yourself you want justice and you want balance libra you want to be treated fair you want commitment in marriage you'll stay single until you get that you're not going to give in to this person they will they cannot come towards you for attention you're not allowing it i see uh, you're you're very traditional you're looking for someone reliable but you don't have a lot of faith in this person you're trying to keep the faith you're trying to you know but you need to do the right thing for you and if this person doesn't commit and they don't treat you fair then you're going to stay single you have everything you need you know that you can move forward you got this empress energy you know that you have everything you need to find someone to marry you to commit to you okay don't you worry it's telling you that you do there is big transformations coming towards you i do see you as being single but not for long okay i do see you moving on and setting yourself free from this person and uh, but i think they're coming back after you i do this is your one this person's holding on they don't want to let go of you they're looking into the future they're thinking about coming towards you they want success they're planning something and uh, they know they need to give more attention give you more attention they also know uh, that they have issues with their ego so i feel there's a bit of a death of the ego for this person tell me about the six of staves and that ego is something they wear on the outside because inside they feel like they're maybe not good enough okay because they hold you in such high regard but you're both you both feel similar you both really care about each other you both have something you need to purge and release okay you need to it's like to come together with this emotional and mental connection you both need to turn around and face each other and you need to let go of those fears you need to let go of the fear of expressing your feelings and your emotions you know look into each other's chat eyes and I, I i feel there's something going to happen very suddenly this person is having an aha moment they're starting to kind of get it because you this connection is their hopes and dreams it's everything they ever wanted and it's both of you 
And I think some of these fears are, uh, there's confusion around whether, because somebody's in and out, somebody is confused. They think someone's juggling. I'm not so sure that that's the case for everybody, maybe for a few of you, but I feel mostly it's due to, to do with these fears that somebody is always juggling because they're in and out. They come in very quickly. They, This is someone who fights very hard to control their emotions, but it's got to the point where these fears got the better of you. You've had to take control and move away. So I feel as if this person comes towards you, you're not going to offer them much unless they express themselves. You know what you want. Uh, you're not settling. Tell me about the six of staves. You can have a new beginning with someone else. You can make the choice to move away from this person and purge and release this connection and move towards somebody else, that two of cups. You can do that if you wish. I see you possibly setting yourself free, but I also see this king of pentacles planning something, working through the process to come in. They're having a lot of epiphanies. This is the, the connection, um, but this fear is holding this person back. They know they need to release this fear because this is everything they hoped and dreamed for and i feel you're in that same energy you both see each other as the one neither one of you want the other person to get away but what do you do right six of staves why is this here for libra why is the six of staves here why is this here why is the six of staves here for libra why is this here? Uh, yeah, see, you want love. You want this person to come in. You see that? Yeah, you're going to turn your back on this person. You will not offer them your cup of love unless they come in right. You want success. You want things to move forward, but you will ignore this person. You will not give them your love and nurturing unless they purge and release these fears to share their feelings. You want it reciprocated. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. This person needs to go within and heal themselves. Yeah, see, there's conflict and competition, and you're very conflicted. I feel as though this person's coming in to take action. I feel as though they... You're getting a lot of attention. I actually feel like you get a lot of attention, or you're going to. If you release this person, purge and release this connection, move on to somebody... Uh, you know, that's more traditional. Because I feel like you don't have a lot of faith in this person to come in. You don't feel like this person will ever treat you fair. You feel like you'll never get married. There'll never be a commitment. But you have everything you need to get it. You are just right. This person sees you as just right. They have every faith in you, but you're the one who doesn't have the faith. I don't think they have faith in themselves, to be honest, because of their insecurities. And that's what needs to be released. These fears, this confusion, these illusion, these things that are these hidden fears. And I feel as though you're getting a lot of attention. And I feel like this person's worried that there's now competition because maybe you told this person you took off in another direction. Some of you literally took a stand on this person and you may have literally got in your car and took off. <laughs> and I can see like this scenario of, you know, just holding back because this person came charging towards you, all fired up and passionate. But you know, they're only here for a good time, not a long time. And that's your fear. They weren't sticking around. There was, uh, they just didn't, it didn't seem like they were invested. You waited for so long, it feels. Tell me about the five of wands. Why is the five of wands here? Yeah, see, this person feels like there's no hope. They feel like there's absolutely no hope to gain control of this situation. They're trying to, they're soul searching. Some of you, they could be a Virgo. I see Taurus energy here as well. This person sees you as just right. They do. You're, you're perfect in this person's eyes. You're their person. They know that you're everything they could have ever hoped and dreamed for. They're soul searching. They may be watching you to see if there's competition. Um, if you got people around you, yeah, they're looking to see. They're digging deep about love. They're looking to see if you have somebody else now, if you moved on, but you're their person. You see, you're the one. They know that you're the one. They know that they have love for you. And wow. Yeah, they're they this person's definitely working through it, but you're ignoring each other. Yeah, they know they need to express themselves. You know that they know you're the one to make them happy. But the problem is is you're worried this person's come every time they come towards you, they're just trying to make themselves happy at your expense. And that's why all this issue, you're weighing the pros and the cons here like you feel like they're juggling and this is the problem but i feel there's some kind of confusion and delusion due to your fears and it's because they they rush in and out too much they haven't invested in you there's been no commitment between the two of you 
Tell me about the forest stage. You were so hoping for that, I feel, for this connection, this beautiful connection uh, to move forward to a commitment. Yeah, see, there was a lack of clarity, Libra. You didn't get the clarity you needed, and so you took the time to hold back and think, uh, to heal yourself, to release this. You needed to hear more. You didn't hear what you needed to hear from this person. There's no clarity. Uh, tell me about the three of staves. I, I feel like this could be healed. I do. I actually feel like this connection could be healed. You just need to both purge. You need to purge your fears um, of this person juggling. But I do feel there needs to be some very clear communication. And it looks like it's going to take a little while. But I think this person is going to express themselves to you. They're contemplating it now. Yes, they're definitely contemplating this. Tell me about the three of staves. What's going to happen here? Because you're waiting for a message, waiting for news. It's like you're holding on to this person. You see this person as the one. They see you as the one. Yeah, you're waiting for this offer. And I feel like you're waiting for this person to make you a solid, reliable offer. You're waiting for this as well, this emotional offer, this new beginning. They know. They know it. They know what you're waiting for. They know what they need to do. And they're trying to gain the strength and the confidence here. They, they, because they feel lacking. They feel like they're not good enough, or they feel like there's no hope that you'll still be available. Because maybe they're afraid you're not single anymore. Because you may have told this person you are now keeping your options open. If you're gonna juggle, that I'm gonna keep my options open. I'm turning my back because if you're not gonna commit to me, if there's, if this isn't gonna go anywhere, if it isn't gonna go to a commitment or marriage, then why would I sit and waste my time? The Empress doesn't sit and waste her time on somebody who's never going to commit so you take the time to clear your head clear your energy and you move on and that's what this person's afraid of they know that there's love here they know you're the one they know that you're the person to make them happy and they know what they need to do they're contemplating thinking watching you to see if you've started something with someone else yeah this person knows what they need to do i feel like they will eventually it's they're working through something let's just see what that is the king of pentacles what is this king of pentacles planning Oof. Oh, this person's yeah they're coming in to sacrifice they know they need to sacrifice something here they're oh what are they sacrificing what is this person sacrificing for libra what are they sacrificing now they could be anybody they do not need to be a taurus virgo or capricorn yeah they're trying to figure something out they're trying to figure something out this person has a hard time yeah they need to go within and fix themselves they need to release something they need to make some sacrifices here yeah this person yeah they uh they were a little bit sneaky but I feel as though it's more, with this sacrifice, this is like self-sabotage. And I feel like this person may have sat. Yeah, they know what they need to do. They need to cooperate and compromise. They're trying to figure out how to do that. They want to get on the same page with you. We have the tradition card, the hierophant right above. That's getting on the same page with the same tradition, the same beliefs, right? And, oh, wow. And I feel like this person, yeah, they know they need to let go of something. And that's the fears, this fear of lack that they're not good enough because they need to let go. They need to let go of that ego. That ego is the thing that's got them in that in the bad position here. And I feel that they know that you're compatible and they have to let go of something. They got to make some sacrifices. They need to cooperate, compromise. Wow. Yes, they have to let go of something here. Oh my goodness, yeah, they will come towards you and communicate. Expect a communication from this person, okay? And uh, this communication is very fiery, very passionate. Like I said, I feel like it's going to come in very quick as a huge surprise. In fact, you're probably going to be shocked at what this person has to say. So look at that, yeah, you're going to be sitting on the fence waiting. You see this person as the one. They're just trying to figure out how to approach you, the best things to say, the way to say it. Yeah, that's what they want to say. You'll be waiting for this. <laughs> they want to tell you they love you. They want to put all the cups on the table and express themselves. This is what you were waiting for. And I feel like this isn't the first time this person's come around. This is, I feel like they know uh, with this uh, tower card that this is their last opportunity because this is the last time. And I think they're very aware of it because I see once you're in that Empress energy, it's either they have to come in, they, they have to come in right. They have to be willing to commit. They have to show you uh, in that, you know, 
you have to have faith in this person, but you're not, you're really not, you feel as though <laughs> that you can't trust this person, like you don't have any faith in this moving towards a commitment. There needs to be a transformation of this person's, maybe they don't have faith in commitment in marriage, maybe this is, maybe it's them who has, you know, they just thought they would stay single. But with this transformation, I have a feeling this person's coming back around with, um, and they've done some inner work here to do with their belief, traditions, or behavior, the way they see marriage and commitment. And that's what I feel. They don't have a lot of faith in, in marriage and commitment for some reason. And uh, you may be very aware of this. Tell me about tradition. Yeah, see, you're looking at this. You're very practical. Ooh. Libra, yes, you're being very practical, you're being very grounded, you're looking at this, you're looking back to everything that happened, you don't really have a lot of faith in this going towards commitment and marriage, but you see, you're looking back, you're not looking into the future like you don't see a future, I, I think you're going to, you may change how you feel because of the Wheel of Fortune, you may actually change how you feel about how you see this person's feeling because I think they're the one that's going to change. They want to get on the same page. They want to come in. They want the two of you to build each other up, to hold each other in high regard. There's something here that they're having epiphanies about. And they're coming in to take that leap of faith. And if they don't, if they don't take this risk and commit to you and express their feelings and their love and make you this solid offer, this could be an engagement. I feel like you're waiting. It's like you kind of... You're looking back at everything that happened. You're being very practical and realistic. You know, I feel like in the past you never felt this person would ever commit. But look at that. They see you as marriage material. They actually do. Uh, you may have changed and transformed the way this person sees commitment in marriage. Uh, and maybe even the way they see themselves. So it's really lovely. I do think they're coming in to take a risk because they don't want you to get away. They don't want you to start something new with someone else. And that's what they're worried, that there's competition. There's your offer. You're going to look at it. You won't just take a leap of faith into this because it's a princess. You're going to look at the details of this offer and be very careful. You're going to take your time and make to see where things go with this offer. Okay, it may take a little time for this person to express themselves fully. You may need to build this person up a little bit. Okay, you may need to express yourself a bit because they are a little bit worried. Like, this person feels like they're not good enough, but I, you're a little bit worried about this offer that there's something lacking in it, like they're coming in for attention. Uh, but I don't know. Uh, I feel like you're a little bit conflicted. This person's going to take action. You feel like they're just coming in for action. And uh, yeah, I don't think so. I think this person actually feels they need to gain, they don't feel good enough. They need to feel, gain the strength and confidence. They've been doing a lot of soul searching to do with this connection. Look at that right here, coming back around. They know you're the one. So keep that in mind when they come in. Be a little bit patient. Give this person an opportunity to express that love. Now, it's not going to come easy to them, trust me. It's very difficult for this person. So I see you getting this offer and looking at it. You can take your time. Um, all right, with this offer and just see where it goes. But this is your person and you know it and this person knows and it's time to stop ignoring each other. Take care of yourselves. I wish you guys the best and bye for now.